Hello everyone, and welcome back to Broken Sword, Shadow of the Tempest. When we left off, we were trying to get a toilet brush from a kebab seller. It's a weird game, this. Um, so I had to do a bit of googling afterwards, and apparently, now we know who's got it, we need to talk to this boy. Hi, Nijo. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? Who's the guy selling the kebabs? Oh, that's Arto. A miserable blighter, to be sure, sir. He doesn't seem very happy. He never is. Day in, day out, a face like a wet Wednesday. <laughs> Whatever one of those is. Does he speak any English? Not cogently, no. Look, this is going to sound a bit strange, but I need Arto's brush. What? The brush he bastes the kebabs with? Yes. Let me find some dirty postcards for you instead. <laughs> Nijo, this is serious. Ardo stole that brush he's using from a friend, and I want to get it back. Perhaps I could help you, old chap. Uh, maybe? Perhaps? Maybe what? Perhaps what? I do not wish to see mercenaries, sir, but uh, I am a merchant and merchants trade. Merchant? This isn't Sears and Roebuck here. Well, if you're going to be disagreeable... No, no, you're right. Uh, what would you like? I seem to recall that you have something that might alleviate my boredom. A globe of delight. A Rubicon spheroid of heavenly pleasure. You mean the ball, don't you? A tiny spherule of form that barely spans my <laughs> hand, yet promises hours of amusement. If you mean the ball, why don't you just say so? Can I have the ball back, mister? Yeah, sure you can have the ball anyway. All right, here you go. Thank you, sir. People say bad things about Americans, but you're okay in my book. What people? What bad things? Never mind that now. Remember the brush? Right, yes, the brush. All you have to do with Arto is be polite. It lightens his day, makes it all worthwhile for him again. How can I be polite to the guy when I can't speak a word of Syrian? Arabic. That's what I meant. Simply memorize this phrase. Il ach il kalb. Il ach il kalb. Close enough. <laughs> now, go over to Arto and deliver those honeyed words even unto his delicate ear. He won't be able to do enough for you. Really? Really. Okay, then I'll do that. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. I've got to wait for him to start playing with the ball so he can get that statue as well. This doesn't quite go as planned. Hello again, sir. Hello. Kebab? Mmm. Yes? <laughs> um. Il Akul Kalb? Filthy! Bad, <laughs> bad! I kill you! Whoa! Calm down! I just. Feet, do your thing. <laughs> that went well. Uh, right, but now while we're up here, there is something else that I need to do. Which is... Apparently we need to show this photo to, um... What's his name? Hello again, Ultar. Ultar. Praise be to Allah! I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. Have you seen this man before? Oh, most certainly. Was here only yesterday. Here? Yesterday? My God, he's close. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, he was asking a lot of questions, just like you. What did he ask about? He asked about American called Stoby. Stobart? Yes, Stobart. You know him. The killer knew my name. What else did he ask about? Uh -oh. He asked about a German man called Klobner. I tried to remember the name of the man the conspiracy had lost in Syria. Was his name Klausner? Sure, that is what Oltar said. Klausner. I told this man in the picture, Klausner wanted to go up to Bull's Head. Hold on, he wanted to go where? Bull's Head. Big hill, ten mile out of town. Maybe sixty. <laughs> when was that? Oh, maybe a week ago.
Uh, isn't this where we find out what it means? What does il akal kalb mean? Who teach you that? Nejo told me to say it to Arto. And Arto come after you with big knife, yes? Yeah. How did you know? I know Arto. You tell him in bad Arabic that his kebabs made from dog meat. <laughs> I said he was using dog food? No wonder he went crazy. No. Ultar not mean meat for dog. Ultar mean meat of from, dog. Uh, of, oh. From dog. Of Ooh. <laughs> It. We need to go to the bull's head, but we can't... Okay, what we... can you tell me about this bull's yeah, head yeah. hill? It's most magnificent, lovely views, worth visiting, yes, by indeedity. How do I get there? No. Let me guess. You need fine luxury guy to take you there in air-conditioned taxi. Woe is me. Where can I find such a guide? <laughs> and Ultar is most luxurious guide for most literally some way. In any direction. Gee willikers, lucky old me. Are you desirous of my pleasant and luxuriant service? Sure. All right, let's go. First, I regret the formalities. A trip to the bull's head. Fifty Yankee dollars, please. Fifty bucks? I don't have fifty bucks. Oh, most unhappy event. Ultar then sorry, but he cannot take you on ride of lifetime. Hold on, Ultar. Is there nothing I could barter with you? Were that it was so, beloved friend. But my taxi needs gas, and its muffler needs the muffler doctor. <laughs> Trading for these things is not possible. My heart weeps for the injustice, but it's bucks or zip, or unfortunate American. <laughs> okay, right, well, now... See you around, Ultar. May next. good fortune follow you, mister. Because now we need to get to the toilet for us. I think if we talk to him again, he tries to attack us again. <laughs> what the heck did you tell me to tell him? Patience, sir. Patience? Patience? I've been chased by a homicidal kebab seller, and you expect me to be patient? But consider, sir, while you were running from the irate Arto, the irate Arto wasn't using the brush. Hold on. Are you telling me that I've been used as a diversionary tactic? Your brush, sir. <laughs> I can't believe that you put me on that kebab seller's death list for a toilet brush. The ends justified the means, sir. Yeah. But I noticed it wasn't your butt that was on the line, though. They also serve who only stand and wait, sir. Oh, spare me. Uh, right, okay. Is he gonna play with the so long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Maybe not just yet. Maybe we've got to go and give the brush back first. Basically, we need him to play with the ball. So, we need him to play with the ball so he can pet the cat so the cat will knock the statue off the shelf when we ring the bell, his dad opens the door and the ball hits the cat. As I said, it's a weird game, this. <laughs> but we have the toilet brush. Gentlemen, I present to you the trophy of most fine excellence. Here's your brush, sir. It wasn't easy getting it back. Why does his mustache look like he's got a piece of elastic holding it around? The his manager face? took the brush from me, gave me the toilet keys as my reward, and stomped off. What was all that about? Manager, he say, Bah, look at state of this. Need much cleaning and detergent before go around my you bend. He said all that? Body language account for much, you know. <laughs> oh, yes, indeedy. Actually looks like quite a nice, I was going to say pub, but it's more like a club. Okay, so we need uh, the chain. Oops. And I believe we need this thing. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, right. 
so now I'm supposed to give... I think I'm supposed to give those things to... Um, Altar. But I think I need to get the statue to get the money first, I think. Because that's the taxi over there. Anyone wondering? <laughs> Playing with the ball, he is indeed. Okay, cat, do your thing. <coughs> and we have a statue. The grease paint had worked magic. Now it looked like aged marble instead of cheap plaster. And then we sell it to Dwayne's wife. <laughs> Hello. I was wondering whether you could help me. Why, hi there, handsome. What can I do for you? Hi, my name's George. I was just... Well, it certainly is delightful to meet you, George. I was... My name's Mrs. Henderson, but you can call me Pearl, I'm sure. Okay, Pearl. I was... So nice to meet a friendly American <laughs> face so far from home. Pearl? Yes, dear? I was just wondering if you could help me. Why, sure, precious. What do you think of this fine piece of ancient statuary? Oh, my, that's just what I've been looking for. Would you like it? Would I ever? I'm not carrying the money, though. If you go and find Dwayne, he'll pay you for it. If he gives you any trouble, just tell him that I want it. Julie noted, Pearl. I've got to go now, Pearl. So there's, so it's many, been a there's so many options of conversation in this game, but you don't need all of them. It's, it's, this is what I was saying last time about how I'm having to rush some of it because there's just so much to go through. Hi there, Dwayne. Hi there, George. How can I help you, young fella? What do you think of this? Good gravy. Looks old. Good gravy. Yeah, I had to turn this town upside down. Boy, your luck's better than ours. Looks Roman. I wouldn't know. What'll they say back home? How much do you want, George? Oh, I couldn't. It's the find of a lifetime. I mean... Fifty bucks. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Here you go. <laughs> and here you go. Thanks for the money, Dwayne. This will come in real handy. I ought to be thanking you for finding this Roman statuette. Okay, well... Okay, we well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. We Count on it, George. Walter, let's go to the bull's head. first. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. About Bull's Head Hill. Are you desirous of seeing this most splendid place? Well, maybe. A terrific bargain. Only 50 of your Yankee bucks. 50, huh? Go for it. Okay, it's a deal. Here's the cash. Ah, most splendid. As you say, the cash price moolah is correct. <laughs> Mister, we make with haste. Where exactly is your taxi? Because the only vehicle I can see around here is an aging army surplus truck. Yes? Ah. <laughs> okay, I'll be along in a minute. It didn't seem right to take off with the toilet keys, so I left them on the bar. Uh, okay, and then he needs a fan belt, and that's what we give him a toilet paper for. I don't know if toilet paper would work as a fan belt. I know an old Bentley's they used to use women's stockings. Used to work. Hello again, Ultar. 
His most splendid and adventurous client. Is this any use to you? My friend, the very thing, yes. Ultar took the towel from me, cut it in two lengthways, and gave me half back. With his half, he did the kind of fan belt replacement that's normally done with stockings. Now, if I knot the ends together, so... Serviceable, yes? Very serviceable indeed. Stockings might work on a Bentley, but on a truck, the coarse toweling did the job nicely. Come along, my friend. You want to see the bull's head? Yes! He's the erasing thing, apparently. A few hours later. Who is watching us? So we've got to get down to the cave. With a flourish, I tied the end of the towel to the stick with a textbook reef knot. I could see that crack would make a good anchor point. Isn't that there's bits of this game that I remember really well, and bits of this game that I just don't have any memory of at all? Well, that looked really safe. <laughs> but I had no choice. I hadn't anticipated going mountaineering when I'd come to Syria. That wall doesn't look at all conspicuous. I didn't like the idea of putting my hand in there. But hey, what the heck? I was only risking mutilation. No blade took my hand off at the wrist, and no scorpion stung me, for which I was very grateful. But there was something in there. A metal ring, as wide as my hand. I took a firm hold of the ring, and tried not to think of death traps, and pulled. <laughs> Whoa there! Well, what do you know? Who could have expected that? Hello, Klausner. Or is it Indiana Jones? Around the corner, I found the corpse. Oh my god! Klausner? Large as life and twice as dead. I'd hardly had time to accept the fact when I heard the door mechanism start up again. Oh man, no! The door had slammed shut, trapping me. I had a bad feeling about how Klausner had died. A stone head bearing three bearded faces. It was a strange image, but a powerful one. Redolent with antiquity and ancient mysteries. I couldn't think of anything to do with the statue, apart from scaring small children with it. <laughs> I couldn't take the inscription with me. All I could do was stare at it and try to memorize it. In occidenta sita est in ora mundi. That's way, okay, way that would have to do. Beyond my level of, uh, of Latin. <laughs> All right, Klausner. Or in, I'm just going to call him Indiana Jones because he looks like Indiana Jones. He's got the hat, he's got the jacket, he's got the whip. Come on, that. How can that be anyone but Indiana Jones? Whatever had been in the bottle had been drunk. Klauser must have died of thirst and dehydration. 
Bullwhips might be handy for exploring ancient ruins, but they're no use when you're trapped in a cave. Mm -hmm. Klausner clearly fancied himself as a <laughs> latter-day Indiana Jones. The pocket was empty. The mm, it was my favorite brie back in Paris. The pocket was empty. The pocket was empty. Yeah, we got that, George. I've done more fun things in my life than searching a corpse, but as my life expectancy wasn't great, I figured I should try every new challenge that came my way. I cautiously flicked open the jacket. Hello. Hey, what's this? I'd found some kind of lens. A very old lens made from a very hard glass. That settled it. The knight on the manuscript had been holding a lens the whole time, not a crystal ball. <laughs> there was nothing else. I couldn't see any marks of violence, apart from his fingertips being scraped raw, and that seemed self-inflicted. Klausner had been pretty smart to get this far, but he was still dead. I searched the corpse. No portable phone, no demolition charges, no five-course meal. You'd think international conspirators would go around better <laughs> equipped. I think that's everything I'm going to find on Paul Klausner. Aha. The mouth's opening. It must be Ultar. My God. If he comes in, we'll both be trapped. Ultar! Don't come in! It's a trap! Stay where you are! You! Hello, Mr. Stobart. We meet in the most unusual places. Please, do not make any sudden moves. I have no desire to maim you. Did you say maim? I did. Dead men tell no tales, as you say. And I want to hear everything that you have to tell me. And what if I don't want to talk? Then I shall, most regrettably, have to kill you. Rest assured, however, that I am an excellent shot. You would not suffer. Oh, that's good. Uh, believe me, I'm really assured. It is rather dark in here. I think we should conduct our business outside. Why should I make myself an easier target? If I fire at you, Mr. Stobart, I shall hit you even in here. But... Unfortunately, my marksmanship will suffer. It could be the difference between hitting you in the leg or the groin. <laughs> Boy, it sure is hot in here. No sudden moves, Mr. Stobart. Now then, where shall we start? How about being bosom buddies and you putting that gun away? Klausner, do you know where he is? Uh, yes, he's in there. Yep, he's dead. Just around the corner of the cave. You want to look? I'll take your word for it. How did he die? Starvation or dehydration, by the look of it. He was caught in this trap you were shouting about? Yes, I suspected as much. The Templars were not ones to give away their secrets lightly. Was he carrying anything of importance? Nope. No, nothing. So, why is this location important? What did the Templars hide here if not an artifact? Uh... Nothing? Well, there is something, I guess, but you can't move it. Yes? What is it? It's a treasure map. Your X marks the spot? Come now. Do you expect me to believe that? Yeah, okay. You caught me. But round the corner, there is something in Latin up on the wall. Latin? Do you remember it, Mr. Stobart? In Accidenta Sita Est, in Ora Mundi. Ah, the words of Caesar. Yes, that makes sense. Well, I know that roughly it means to the west, to the edge of the world. But what the heck is that about? I got, I got, it tells me where the sword of Baphomet lies. <laughs> Mr. Stobart, I am sure that you are just what you appear to be. A gifted amateur. Thanks, I think. <laughs> but I can no longer tolerate your interference. There is far more at stake than you realize. So what are you going to do? I regret that we must end this here and now. 
Your only choice now is whether you die like a man or like a dog. No go for the man, because that's how we get out of this. Okay, you're the boss. I'll take my medicine. You are an honorable man, Mr. Stobart. A rare breed. I should like to shake your hand. Yeah. Well... What the heck? Aha. Now, George, jump. That's one hell of a landing. Back in Nico's apartment... Luckily, the canopy on Ultar's truck broke my fall. Thank goodness for that. The worst part of the experience was Ultar's driving. Yeah. What about the lens? Is it still in one piece? Oh, yeah. Well, it's good to see you again, Josh. Really? Well, I have to say, I'd have enjoyed Syria a lot more if you'd been there. I wouldn't have been much help. <laughs> anyway, you did just fun on your own. Um, okay, so we have this lens. Have you any idea what this lens might be used for? As a magnifying glass, obviously. Um... Let's take another look at the manuscript. So there's, the tripod we've done. there's a guy with a sword and a bull. Between them is a gem supported by a tripod. Look there! Two guys on the same horse. There's a guy working on a loom. There's a woman looking at her reflection in a mirror, but the reflection has three hideous faces. A knight with a crystal ball. The knight scroll bears a phrase in Latin. Through my teachings, you will be enlightened. Okay, I think I know what I've got. I'd better get back to the quest. We need to go to Montfasson. Because I believe there are points that we have in the church. A knight, there in the company of his fellows. Biblical references engraved into the tomb edge to guide his way to the next world. I guess. Let's see. On the end of the staff was some kind of disc with a cross on it. Around the base of the disc was a hairline crack. A statue of a knight holding a staff and a scroll. The statue had any secrets. It was concealing them pretty well. I'm sure we've got to look a scroll was a symbol of scholarship. I knew that much. Hey. A scholarly knight. That rang a bell. A very Spanish bell. The lens fitted into the end of the scroll like a hand into a glove. Per disciplinum meum lux vedebus. Hey! Oh, this is uh, okay. The lens elements need to be stood into the correct position. Apart from grasp the hand appears. What did I 
get it? Is that it? Maybe not. Not quite, anyway. Oh, damn, this is difficult. Oh, hang on. Ooh, God, I'm such an idiot. Align it with the scroll at the bottom, you fool. And below him, a date in Roman numerals. No. A knight templar burning at the stake. And a date. Let me see. Uh, uh, M C C C X I V. That's 1314. I always get it's, it's the M, the M's and the C's confuse me. I'm trying to. I can never remember what M is. I think M is 1000. 100, yeah, so, yeah, 1,000, C is 100, so, 30, yeah, 1314. I got it, I got it in the end. Okay, so, what does the burning man mean? Uh, excuse me, father? Pardon? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all, monsieur. It will be my pleasure to help you. Did you know that the center window conceals an image of a man burning at the stake? The burning man? What, you knew? That there was a hidden image? No. But the church has a reputation for being haunted. Many times, people have claimed to have seen a burning man in the window. But when others, they look, there is nothing. Perhaps the light has to be just so for the figure to appear. Yeah, or maybe you need a special lens. So. Do you speak Latin? You ask this of a priest? <laughs> okay. Can you tell me what per disciplinum meum lux fidebus means? Let me see. That would be uh, by my teachings, you will see the light. I think. Yeah, that's what I thought too. What happened in. What do you know about the Knights exactly Templar? You have come to the right place if that is your interest. Many of them were executed in the square outside. It was a disgrace to France. Well, the Pope was right behind it, though. Clement V was a man of memo, not of God. That's kind of forthright for a priest, isn't it? You think so? It is hard to be sure what happened. It is so long ago. How long have you worked here? Hardly work, monsieur. This is a calling. I have been helping Father Flambert for nearly six months now. Um, maybe Andre's the person. Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. Or actually, no, isn't it on the tomb? Thinking about it. I'm sure 1314 is when Jacques de Molay, who was the last Grand Master of the Templars, was burned. A knight there in the company of his fellows. A statue of a knight. The Templars were demonstrating a pretty good grasp of physics. If the dissolution hadn't happened, we'd have had cold fusion power last century. I didn't have time to. Okay, I think we need to talk to Andre at the museum to ask him. Hello, Georgie. Where have you been? Nicole said you were away. I just returned from Syria. Syria? On the trail of the Templars? It's a long story, but I found the bull's head. It was referred to on the manuscript, remember? Yes. Uh, what is it? A secret cave built into a high cliff face. In the cave, I discovered a map bearing a phrase in Latin. 
In Occidenta Sita Est in Ora Mundi. The island of Britain. Lies at the edge of the world to the west. Strange. That map seems to contain a series of pointers. Like I said, it's a treasure map. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. Well, whatever's going on, it's got to be at church. It's got to be here. In French, English, and German, it read, In 1312, Pope Clement V dissolved the knightly order of the Templars and excommunicated its members on charges of heresy. In the following two years, many of the knights were hanged on this site. Their grand master, Jacques de Molay, uh -huh. was burnt at the stake on an island in the Seine. Hello again, Father. Bonjour, Monsieur. How, How long have you worked here? I guess you don't know much about the history of this church, then. Just a little. You've got quite a shine on that candlestick. Ah, oui. Anything less than best would be an insult to the Almighty. I guess so. I never thought of it like that. Catch you later. Au revoir, man. Anything else? I think for a minute. A scroll was a symbol of scholarship. I knew that much. A scholarly knight. That rang a bell. A very Spanish bell. Anything to do with these bells on the floor? I'm sure it's something to do with something. A stone knight lay at the end of a row of four. I wondered if this guy had died in combat. A stone knight lay in full stone armor, Bl uh -huh. carrying all that armor. A statue of a knight holding a staff and a scroll. The Templars were demonstrating a pretty good grasp of physics. If the dissolution hadn't yeah, 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 yeah. On the end of the staff was some kind of disc with a cross on it. Around the base of the disc was a hairline crack. A statue yeah, that if the dis um. To think of the long centuries that he kept it secret. Yes, I'm slightly stumped. You see, I was doing really well. I remembered everything right up to this point. And now I know... I'm sure it's got something to do with this chappie in the corner here. But... Oh, um, I'm sure that's the guy we're looking for. But I seem to remember that George doesn't... doesn't recognize it until you say something or get somebody to ask something. A knight there in the company of his fellows. Biblical references in great... I guess. Yeah. Basically, we need to talk to somebody. I'm sure there's somebody who gives us an answer. Somebody needs to give us the answer about Jacques de Molay in 1314. But I don't know who it is. So, I will look it up. But before then, I will leave it there for this episode. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share. It really helps me out a lot. I salute you all. And I will see you with another video very soon.